Before we finish out the unit today, let's recap what we've done so far. Factoring polynomials. Very first thing we look for, can we factor out a common factor? If there is a GCF, we yank it out. That simplifies the rest of the terms. How we go from there depends upon how many terms there are. If there are two terms, maybe it's the difference of two perfect squares. Maybe it's the difference of two perfect cubes. Maybe it's the sum of two perfect cubes. And we have ways of dealing with all of those. If there are three terms, good old trinomial. We're going to work on that today. You can use trial and error. Hopefully you're good with your multiplication tables. Or you may be familiar with the magic x. If there are four terms, that's when we try to split it down the middle, see if we could factor a group out of no matter what strategy we used, when we were done, we had to see, are we really finished? Or can some of the parts be factored even further? If they can, then we keep factoring. The other topic we're supposed to work on is solving quadratic equations, and that's on the next slide.